Dr. Nina and I am up in my kitchen about to cook it up for y'all. But you know for me, it has to pass the test of being cost effective, easy to make, and also very exciting, if you will. I don't do much, but I did learn on my weight loss journey that it's important to keep it simple. And a lot of times taking the hassle out of your day makes it easier for you. And that's no different with these meals that I'm gonna show you guys today. They're easy to make and also things that are gonna take the guessing out of staying fit. So I encourage you to try a lot of these things, see what you like, and kind of mix it up the way that it works for you. But while I have you, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. So before we get started guys, I partnered with Quaker Oats and the Meredith brand to bring you today's video. And I'm excited about that because they are hosting a 30 night challenge. It's really geared towards making sure that people start to do things maybe the night before to prepare for healthier, hassle-free days. That's exactly what my goal is for these 30 nights is to make sure that I'm very well prepared for my days so that I don't have to think about all my food. That is a simplistic, easy way to get involved. And hopefully you guys will follow my 30 night journey journey on Instagram as I'll be posting there about it in the month of October. I encourage you guys to participate with me in this 30 night challenge and get your game on when it comes to having hassle free days, preparing your meals and getting things together the night before and also having things at your fingertips that are simplistic and make it easier for you to get fit and stay that way. My first hassle free fast choice for breakfast is the Quaker Overnight Oats and they sent me the toasted coconut and almond crunch version. Y'all so bomb and if it's prepared with half a cup of skim milk you're getting 11 grams of protein, no artificial flavors or added colors, 100% whole grains, and a good source of dietary fiber. The night before, all I do is get my choice in milk, which is almond and coconut this time. And if you want to make it a little bit more hearty, you can add in a little bit of plain yogurt. But basically, it's foolproof. You fill to the fill line, and then you mix up the oats and make sure they're good and saturated in your milk. And if you choose to add yogurt, also your yogurt. And you're gonna cover it. This is a basic step of steep, sleep, and eat. You're gonna allow those to sit in the refrigerator refrigerator at least six hours but not more than 24 hours and you are good to go I promise y'all the next morning it's so hearty rich delicious it sticks to your bones and you feel like you got all your nutrition for the morning besides being so good it just adds to that whole hassle-free part 30 night challenge this is gonna be easy with this this is good as hell so creamy smooth delicious so if you're like me, you're busy and on the go all the time, but eating Quaker overnight oats and preparing them the night before makes it easier to make better choices in your eating and to stay fit. Make sure you check out the link down below in the information section to learn more about this 30 night challenge, but also how these Quaker overnight oats can fit really effortlessly into your life. Y'all know your girl loves a great smoothie and this one's no exception. Down below in the information section, I have a link to my old smoothie videos, but this one is my morning avocado wake up and smoothie. this one is full of fiber and healthy carbohydrates carbohydrates. It has avocado, spinach, banana, cashew milk or milk of your choice, and a protein powder of your choice. All you have to do is blend this one down until it's very smooth and I just keep blending it until it has a really good smooth and creamy texture. The avocado keeps it extra smooth and creamy and this is what it looks like in the end. Another breakfast idea is my loaded healthy omelet which is pretty simplistic and customizable to whatever you like. This one helps me stay fit because of all the protein and vitamins. It has three large eggs, garlic, mushroom, spinach, feta, olive oil, and also salt and pepper to your taste. Making this one is quite simple. You're gonna start with your filling, put in a little bit of the oil to the pan, and then brown up the insides of your omelet, your garlic, your onions, spinach, all of the things that are gonna go on the inside, minus the cheese at this point. When this is done, I simply set it to the side so that I'm able to fill the omelet after I've cooked the eggs down. I then beat the eggs down and season them, and then take my time when adding them to the skillet. You wanna make sure that the skillet is coated. Pour them in slowly with low heat because burning an omelet is the worst thing ever and you want to perfect this after the eggs are not as runny then you put the items inside and go ahead and pour in your cheese right before you flip it so that it's able to melt and there you have it it's loaded full of veggies it has fiber good proteins and a little bit of healthy carbohydrates and now it's time for our lunch options first up is the crunchy tuna wrap all you need is a whole wheat wrap you need tuna and water plain greek yogurt celery 
celery, roasted red pepper, and also you can season it to your taste. This one's full of protein and very low in fat. I start this process by roasting my red pepper, which is really simple. Just add a little olive oil to your pan and put it in on broil for about 10 to 15 minutes and you're good to go. I then mix in the Greek yogurt with my tuna and also my celery. That Greek yogurt is acting as mayonnaise. And also you can add in just a little bit of seasoning however you would like it. Y'all, I promise you won't miss the mayo. It tastes so good and also season it to your taste. Add it to your tortilla and also put on your fixings. Go ahead and wrap that up as tight as you can. And if you would like to serve it on the side, I like to have black bean chips or blue corn tortilla chips with a little bit of salsa. Y'all, this is like the perfect protein fix. When I need a boost in fiber, this is one of my favorite lunch options and it's so delicious. All you need is a whole wheat or spinach wrap, black beans, avocado, red onion, and a little hot sauce to taste. Taking your tortilla, you layer on a bit of your black beans you don't need much and then you'll add in your red onion after that just your slices of avocado and a few dashes of hot sauce to your taste y'all this is so simple but it's so good you wrap it up as tight as you can get it and I usually cut it in half I usually have a half for lunch and maybe a half for snack so that's a good idea there I serve it with my black bean chips or even just a side of spinach and you are ready to go this one also packs up pretty well to take on the go. I really love smoothies for lunch and this one is amazing. It's fiber rich and also nutrient dense. This one I use spinach, kale, pear, avocado, frozen banana, honey, and if you want protein powder you can and also your milk of choice. You simply blend all the ingredients down until they're nice and smooth. That avocado is going to make sure it's super smooth. It comes out really nice and green and it's so delicious. It's time to move into my dinners which tend to be lower in carbs and higher in protein and this one is no different. It's my lemon, garlic, and butter salmon and you'll need salmon fillets, pineapple, a little butter, honey, garlic, lemon juice, parsley, and salt and pepper or seasoning to your taste. In your skillet you're going to add in the butter. You're going to make sure that melts down and add in your honey, also your garlic cloves, your lemon, and mix that around for a while and then your parsley. Altogether, this is gonna take about five minutes. You're gonna let that cook down and sit it to the side, and then you're gonna layer on about three to four pieces of foil, salt and pepper, your pineapple to your taste. Add on your salmon on top, pour your sauce on top, and then go ahead and wrap up this foil meal. Y'all, somehow this cooks all the flavor in and keeps it right in. You're gonna set your oven to 400 degrees and bake that up for about 15 minutes, and it's perfect when it comes out. So delicious. You can have this alone or serve it with your favorite vegetable or brown rice. One of my other favorite dinner choices is the kale and black bean burrito and it's full of nutrients as well. This one you'll need kale, cilantro, jalapeno, lime juice, olive oil, cumin powder, sea salt or your choice in seasoning. Beans, garlic, a whole wheat tortilla, avocado, onion, and, and feta or goat cheese if you'd like. In a bowl you're going to add in your kale and cilantro. You're going to add in your garlic cloves, jalapeno, flash on your lime juice, a bit of your olive oil, and also a bit of your seasoning. Mix that together by hand and set it to the side. In a saucepan, you're gonna warm up your black beans and also some onion and make sure that that's good and warm. And then warm up your tortilla. I like mine just a little bit crispy. I go ahead and layer up my beans, my kale, and also a little bit of the cheese if I would like. I wrap that up really tight and I serve the rest of the kale that I have left over on the side. It serves as a great little dish on the side. And there you have have it is so good and so fast. If you need some snack ideas, try sliced cucumbers and mozzarella wedges, some Greek yogurt, or even some organic tortilla chips with hummus. It's also a thought to revisit your Quaker overnight oats. So I hope today's video has been very beneficial for you guys, and I hope that you'll be joining me on the Quaker's overnight oats as well as Meredith Brand's 30 night challenge and make your days hassle free when it comes to meal prepping and staying fit. Thanks so much for watching guys, beautiful brown baby doll. Hey.